at the Korea Army International Defense Exhibition KDEX 2024, South Korea revealed significant advancements in drone technology, with two key systems presented by the Agency for Defense Development ADD, and major industry players Hanwha Aerospace, Korea Aerospace Industries KAI, and Kia Motors. These developments reflect a growing focus on enhancing unmanned aerial systems US for military applications, in line with global trends towards automation and drone swarming technology. The drone multiple launcher unveiled by ADD in collaboration with Hanwha Aerospace represents a versatile and modular approach to drone deployment. This system can launch multiple drones of varying sizes, thanks to its combination of multi-launching pads for small drones and rail-type launch pads for medium-sized drones. Built on an unmanned search vehicle platform, this launcher allows for mission-specific operations, including attack and surveillance, targeting a wide range of objectives. Key features of the drone multiple launcher include Remote operation Controlled by a ground vehicle, the system can launch drones autonomously without direct human intervention, reducing risks to personnel. Integration with existing platforms The launcher can be adapted to work with existing systems like the Chunmu Multiple Rocket Launch System, MRLS, and the LSAM Long Range Surface-to-Air Missile System enhancing the flexibility of South Korea's defense infrastructure. Mission versatility. By deploying drones tailored for specific missions, the system is capable of fulfilling a wide array of roles, from reconnaissance to precision strikes. In a parallel development, KAI and Kia Motors introduced a 4X4 modular drone carrier vehicle based on the Kia K151 Raycold. This vehicle integrates with KAI's compact and multi-mission modular UAV, CMMAV, a highly versatile drone capable of changing payloads for various missions. The CMMAV can conduct intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, ISR, communications relay, and strike missions, making it an adaptable tool for military operations. Key features of the CMMAV include Modular payload capacity. The drone can switch payloads depending on mission needs, making it suitable for ground, naval, or air forces. Swarm technology. The CMMAV is equipped to function in coordinated drone swarms, allowing for mass deployment and synchronized operations, a critical feature in modern warfare. South Korea's advancements in drone swarming and multiple launcher systems reflect similar efforts underway in other major defense markets. Russia The Russian military is developing a multiple launch drone system, MLDS, based on the Kamaz 5350 patrol vehicle. This system can deploy up to 64 Lancet Kamikaze drones via tube-based launches. These drones, equipped with a variety of warheads, use swarm technology to autonomously identify and strike targets with precision. China, the People's Liberation Army, PLA, is heavily investing in swarm tactics, including the integration of multiple UAV launchers on armored vehicles like the Dongfeng Mingxue 6x6 CTL-181A. These drones can execute attacks autonomously, even while the vehicles are in motion. United States The U.S. Navy's low-cost UAV swarming technology, LOCUST, program has developed launchers capable of deploying drone swarms designed to jam enemy communications and draw fire. The Air Force's Air Launched Effects, A2E, program meanwhile integrates smaller UAVs with larger platforms like the MQ-9 Reaper to perform ISR and strike missions. Israel Spear UAV's MCL Viper system offers a rapid deployment solution launching multiple drones for military vehicles for intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance ISTER, missions. The system maintains high tactical maneuverability, providing real-time responses on the battlefield. The rapid development of drone swarm technologies and multiple drone launcher systems is reshaping military tactics. These systems offer enhanced operational capabilities, including high-speed deployment, autonomous mission execution and coordinated attacks. Traditional air defenses may struggle to counter large-scale drone swarms, leading to increased research into counter-UAS systems and alternative defensive measures like deploying counter-swarms. As seen at KDEX 2024, South Korea's contributions to this technological revolution place it at the forefront of drone-based warfare, with the potential to reshape its military capabilities and further its position in the global defense market.